Welcome to another episode presented by Galaxy Design. Today we're here to demonstrate how to install our three-piece finishing combo. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put these up step by step and very simple do it yourself. These combo packages are very complete on their own. They come with their color screws, they come with zip locks, as well as as a bonus what I have done is I have actually went ahead and sketched out some of the design ideas that you can use for different types of windows that you may have. You can use these on corner windows, you can use these on bay windows, you can use them on smaller windows that go over a bathtub. So there are different, many, many different ideas that are available and I have included these for you. In addition to that, of course, I will be providing you with a uh, step-by-step -step instructions with images showing you how to put everything up and then if you choose to go ahead you can also order one of our scarves that, that are available in several colors that are will be tailored exactly to the size of your windows these packages are also available in different colors with the different color crystals so if you want to go ahead and special order them you're welcome to go ahead and do that all that information is available on our site we have made this process really simple for you so that you can create exquisite window treatments as you desire. To install these packages, all you need is just simply a cordless power drill, a tape measure, you will need a pair of pliers, Phillips screwdriver, and you will also need a driver that has a hex head, which is number eight, that fits over our screws and these can be purchased at any Home Depot or any hardware store that is nearby you. So the first step that you want to do is just simply loosen up this small screw that holds the extension screw in place and then you can just use your Phillips screwdriver to push out the extension screw. We make these extension screws this particular way and what you want to do is just go ahead and put this on the back of as well as the arm they have a place for them to be placed now then you want to just sleeve this back on there the reason why we make this this way so that you will have enough of a clearance to be able to go ahead and clear over more than one layer of window treatment that you may have and you do not need to tighten this you just leave it loose and you will see why I'm doing this in a minute and you'll just simply repeat the same process on the other arm so now that we have the measurements in the center of the window, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and simply place these up in the center, and then I'm going to go ahead and mark where the screws are going to be placed. And I'll do that on both sides. Then I'll go ahead and take this sleeve out. I'll take out one sleeve first, and then I'm going to go ahead and mount this up here for the measurements that I have placed in previously. Now I also like to make sure that these are loose. I do not want to over tighten them so that will allow me to go ahead and place the crown if I needed to uh, by having a little bit of wiggle room so you want to make sure they are loose. Now that I have both of the arms up all I do is just simply take this with the stems attached on the back and put them in here and uh, just go ahead and slide it in. I will tighten the screws in a little bit. That's our crown. Now we're going to go ahead and mount the arms. So I simply just go ahead and mark four inches to the center and then I will just simply go ahead, mark it and then place my screws in here and uh, drive it in. Just remember, I like to leave these loose so that I can tighten them later. And then I just go ahead and place my arms in here. And I can go ahead and use my hand. 
by tightening it or now I can go ahead and use my Phillips screwdriver to go ahead and tighten the adjustment screw and place them in the position that I would like them in. So we are now getting to the final stages of going ahead and dressing up the windows. We've taken the scarf swag out of the box and unfolded it. So this particular step will take two people usually to go ahead and do this and I've asked Anat to go ahead and help me with this step. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give her one of the ends and uh, find the center of the scarf wax. Now that I have found the center, I am just simply going to go ahead and work my way down towards the bottom and then I can go ahead and take my other hand and work the rest of the fabric from the bottom to the top. And once I've done that, now that I have center of the fabric marked, I just take a Ziploc that was provided and wrap it around the center. I will simply do this and will not over tighten the Ziploc for the time being. Now that we've got the center of the fabric marked with our Ziploc, all I do is just simply go ahead and put it on the back of the crown. Now that I have the fabric laying on top of the peg on the middle of the crown, I always like to go ahead and just take my hand and uh, pull the fabric up and create some folds in the fabric and put it in an orderly manner. This will allow the swax to come out much nicer and more orderly. And that is the reason why I left the Ziploc loose. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just hold the fabric up in one hand with my left hand and then take my right hand from the bottom of the fabric and create these folds working my right hand towards this top and close to the hold backs where they are and this will create these folds and all I do is just simply rest it onto the top of the hold back. And once that's in place and I have them dressed up, I just take my Ziploc and then again simply come back around and wrap these onto the hold backs and lock them in place. I will not over tighten these yet till we're ready to go ahead and put the pleats in. Now that I've got everything put up and went ahead and sized it all up to the sizes that I wanted in as well as the heights that I wanted in and have done some dressing then I just simply go ahead and lock the zip locks. This would be the final step before making sure all the screws are tightened. Now that we've got everything put up the final step is just simply go ahead and take your drill and make sure that everything is secured in place. Now that we have completed our exquisite window treatments, we hope that was educational and you learned how to do it yourself. If you have any concerns or questions, you're more than welcome to call us, email us, or visit our website. And just remember, we dress windows and not cover them.